Greetings and welcome to another episode of Trippy Food and another installment of Snack Attack. We are once again joined by Julie Couture. And today we're going to try something that is uniquely New England and those are Drake's Snack Cakes. Now a lot of people aren't familiar with Drake's Snack Cakes. They're familiar with Hostess Snack Cakes. Uh, but Drake's is another company that, that was popular in New England. Strangely enough, they're made in Tennessee. But uh, I don't know, they're all made in Tennessee? They as, are. They are all made in Tennessee. everybody knows, Tennessee is part is of New England. Of the, yeah. yeah. Uh, or part of Old England, I'm not sure. Uh, but uh, Drake's snack cakes were always a competitor with Hostess, and they all had very similar products. Like, for instance, the Ding Dong, the, the, the Drake's competitor is the Ring Ding. Uh, we put these in the freezer because... For some reason, they taste better. I told him, I said, listen, put them in the freezer, it will change your life. Yeah, so we're gonna see if, it, if this is a life-changing experience. So we have uh, the Ring Dings, which is the equivalent of the Ding Dongs. We have the Devil Dogs, which I don't think there's any hostess equivalent to the Devil Dog. I'm not sure. But it's a devil's food cake with uh, cream filling. The Yodels, uh, which are cream filling and with a chocolate shell on it. And then um, Funny Bones, which have peanut butter in them. My favorite, that's the winner. I have not had these for decades, um, but, uh, I, and again, um, being living in California, hard to find these. In Massachusetts, you go to any grocery store, your market basket, your star market, <laughs> and, and you'll be able Anifids. to- Anifids. Yeah, you'll find any of these at, at, at theirs. So we're going to try uh, all four I think there's only four of them. There might be uh, like another one that's, but these are the four most popular Drake snack cakes and we're going to try those. So I think, I think what I want to do is I want to start with the devil dog only because the devil I dog suck. can be kind of dry. Uh, so we'll start with that one. Usually you eat those, you have to have like a big glass of milk because it sticks to the roof of your mouth something awful. Maybe, I've never had one in the freezer because I, I just don't typically buy these very often, but um, they're, they're just dry as heck. Yeah, it's, it's devil's food cake with a cream filling. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and grab a piece there. That's a, that's a honking piece. It is. It's nice and frozen in there. You ready? Yes. Oh my God, it was dry as hell. Mm-hmm. It's like eating a block of sand. <laughs> Now, here's the thing about the devil dog. The cream filling isn't interesting enough to redeem the fact that it's just this dry block of... Plus, you gotta make sure you rub your teeth because oftentimes you'll have like a blocked out one because this stuff sticks. If he has one that's missing, I'm not gonna tell him, so. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a thumbs down. Oh yeah, Devil Dog's the worst of the bunch. Yeah. The worst of the bunch. Yeah, definitely thumbs down for that. So, um, what do you wanna try second? We'll do the yodels. Yodels? That I sounds like a good, a good transition. I feel like it's it basically a yodel is like a Devil Dog that's swirled with a chocolate coating on it. Well, the, I think the cake, if I'm not mistaken, the cake is a lot looser. It's not uh, as, as thick and, and doughy and dry as the um, devil dog, but we'll see. And the, and the chocolate on the top, uh, you get an extra one in here too. Oh. You, well, not an extra, but you get three in there and you get two devil dogs, so. Little known fact, uh, the devil dog was actually made by Satan. No, not a lot of people know that. It was named after him too. <laughs> All right, cheers. Cheers. See, it's kind of very similar in color, a little lighter, but. More clean though. Mm-hmm. When the I, chocolate saves that. Doesn't get stuck in your... The chocolate saves that. In your craw. And the chocolate's pretty good. It has like a cocoa taste, more so than, you know, some other things that have that, that kind of milk chocolate, uh, Hershey's vomity taste. Yeah. Yeah, it's not that gritty, sugary taste. These, are, these have the potential to be really dry just because the amount of cake that's inside them and everything, but they're not. Yeah. I'm gonna give that a thumbs up. Doesn't frozen help it too? Like makes it crunchier and like mm -hmm. solid. And it doesn't get it stuck all over your hands. That's true. That true. That is true. So for yodels, I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. Okay. All right. Um, let's do ring dings next, only because I want to do funny bones last. Because, they're because I want heavenly. that. I want that to be the last taste I have in my mouth today. Just don't go there. <laughs> don't do it. 
Okay. Don't do it. Okay, and again, this is going to be the equivalent of the hostess. Ho I think it's Ding Dong, right? The hostess one? I think so, right? Yeah. yeah. Who names so, these things? I want to be in on that board meeting when they're like, ring dings, ding dongs. This is not a big surprise. I don't think. It... It's like a tiny little tea cake. What yeah. do they call those? Petite fours. Tea little, little tea cake type of thing. I mean. I'm going to be honest. It's just like the There's not like that the much of a departure from the yodel. Mm -mm. Maybe more topping. And a darker chocolate, maybe? No, the what chocolate's about the same. I do like that they use a dark chocolate. Yeah, yeah, it's it's the same. But you get a really big glass of cocoa in that one. Mm hmm It's really good. It's very, very similar in taste to the yodel, I think. And the yodel got a thumbs up, so we have to give the ring things a thumb. A thumbs Absolutely. Up. Although, if, if, I, if my memory serves me correct, the hostess, um, the Hostess Ding Dong might be better than the Ring Ding. Well, I, I would just get those and like write Eat Me on them. It didn't have like it for a little Alice tea party. That would be very cute. That would be cute. All right, last but not least, the Funny Bones, which is uh, peanut butter cream filled. Now, my memory tells me that these are really, really good. Let's see if my memory is they being honest with amazing. me. When was the last time you had one? God, I can't. I, I haven't had I haven't had any of these for decades. Yeah, it's been a while for me as well. You get a trio in there too. Yep. I think it, well, here's the thing, is like I think in my mind that these used to be bigger, but then I think also I might you have used been to be smaller. smaller. <laughs> you were a child? I might have been smaller. <laughs> you had tiny little child hands? Ta da! Here's the thing. I want there to be more peanut butter. Of course you do, everybody does. Wow. It's good, it's really good. And frozen is the way to do this. You gotta but, do it frozen. But I kind of like want more peanut butter flavor. I, I kind of want it more. I mean, it, like I said, it's there. It's the winner out of all of them. It's a lighter chocolate. It's more like a milk chocolate than the dark chocolate on the other one. But flavor-wise, yeah, thumbs up. It's so good. Okay, so if you were gonna rate these, Devil Dogs, Funny Bones, Ring Dings, Yodel, what order would you put it in? Devil Dogs is like the bottom of the heap. Dead last. Oh my god, like underground bottom of the heap. Next would be Yodels, followed by the Ring Dings, but just because they're shaped like little tiny cakes. And who didn't pretend to be Alice in Wonderland? And sit in a closet and pretend you were having a tea party. I never pretended to be Alice in Wonderland in a closet. <laughs> okay, well, <clears throat> maybe just me. Bunny Bones, top of the heap. They are the best because, I mean, they just have a, a peanut butter flavor. They have a, car, a hard shell on them. And overall, thumbs thumbs up? Oh, yeah, they're good. Overall. Yeah. All right, I'm going to I'm gonna go slightly different on that. I'm going to say Devil Dog's dead last like you did. Funny Bones, t top of the barrel like you did, but I'm gonna put Ring Dings and Yodels together because to me there was very little difference in taste between the do the, the Yodel and the Ring Dings. They're shaped like tiny cakes. They are tiny cakes. And the Yodels fall apart a lot. Like you'll bite into them and they'll just crack and crumble yeah. away. So, if you have an opportunity to try them, I don't know if you can get these outside of New England. I'm sure you can order them online. Uh, yeah, but if you, if you do, I would uh, give those a shot. Uh, and then see how they compare to your, uh, your interpretation of the hostess uh, snacks see if they uh they match your expectations but uh, definitely give those a try but be careful out there because it's crazy so please take care of yourselves please take care of others and we'll see you soon thanks for checking out trippy food if you enjoyed watching that video half as much as i did making it well then i enjoyed it twice as much as you did and if that's the case you'll probably like this video right here and if not check out this video right here that one's a little bit different Either way, leave a comment down below, and be sure to subscribe by clicking on the trippy food icon right here. Glad you could make it, and we hope to see you again soon.